Hi guys, it's Kelly from Cards by Christine here with you on a Technique Thursday to show you the hinge step technique. All right, the hinge step technique is using our Stamparatus, which is this wonderful tool. We're going to feature more um, tips and techniques using some of our tools, um, but this is the first one in a series of techniques and tips using our Stamparatus. Stamparatus comes with two powerful magnets that will help you um, position your card. So here I have a white mat that I'm going to be stamping the coffee cups on. Um, so I'm just going to hold that down with the magnet because as you stamp, um, it, it could shift and you definitely just don't want it to shift. That's what we're trying to avoid here. Um, and then it comes with these plates. So I already put my coffee cup image from the press on stamp set on here because I wanted to be sure it was centered and aligned where I wanted it without getting my head in the video. Um, so essentially what you're going to do is stamp the image and I'll show you this in just a second. And then you're going to move it down these hinges. You're essentially going to step it down these hinges and the hinges are spaced an inch apart. And that's how I got this repeating background. So you're going to hook it into the sidebar hinges, open up your rich Razzleberry. So that's the color that I chose for this card. And you're going to ink up your stamp. And then, oh, I'm, I'm missing the bottom of the coffee cups. Okay. So you can, um, just as you would normally stamp, you got to make sure that you have the image fully inked up. And then you're just going to close the plate onto your piece of paper. And then you're going to lift it and move it down. Re-ink. And then repeat the process four times until your white mat is fully covered. Voila! Then you go ahead and you can clean it. Um, and honestly, a variation of this technique would be to have a gradient so you would start with one color and then every time you stamp it you'd stamp it in a different color in which case you could bring your chamois on to your stamp and clean it and then move it down do the next color chamois it clean it move it down so on and so forth um, so that is your hinge step technique then you take this off and you can finish decorating it. Um, I'll show you how I did that. So I then took the coffee bean image from the press on stamp set and I stamped it off so that it was lighter. Um, if you're unfamiliar with that technique, um, we will be featuring that as well. But essentially you stamp the first strength on your scrap paper and then the second strength on your card to get the second, the, the lighter image. Um, and that's in Sahara sand. So just stamped a couple beans on there. Then I cut out a stitched circle from the stitched shapes um, and I sponged black around the edges. I stamped the coffee cup image from Press On in Memento and then colored it with Sahara Sand and Crumb Cake blends and I stamped the heart again from Press On in Rich Razzleberry. I used some Stella, of course, on the lid of the coffee cup. These are both raised with dimensionals. I don't know if you can see that. So the circle and the coffee cup are raised with dimensionals. Then I have a little black strip with Whisper White Craft ink that says Happy Birthday and a bow in the white crinkle seam binding ribbon. That is um, all on that layer then we have a black basic black card mat on a rich razzleberry card base that i have as a vertical open so we've got 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half what do you think i absolutely love um uh, just a little information about me um 
I was never into coffee, like not even a little bit. Um, and then I had kids and I still don't like coffee. I think it's gross, but I like chai lattes. So, um, call me that, call me that girl. Um, but what do you think of my card? I love it. The hinge deck technique is super quick and easy to make an impactful, um, full front image. And then you just add a couple little, little something, something on it to make it sparkle, make it shine, make it beautiful. And you got a pretty easy, beautiful card. So I hope you enjoyed this technique. Um, if you are unfamiliar with the Stamparatus, um, this is one of many awesome things that you can do with it. And um, we look forward to showing you more things in the future. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, Chris would be more than happy to explain what it is to you. Um, and I hope you have a great Thursday and a wonderful weekend ahead.